Have you ever wondered why different countries use different electrical outlets? We plug in our devices without a second thought, but the story behind these outlets is a fascinating one. You see, the world of electrical outlets is as diverse as the cultures and countries they power. From the flat prongs of North America to the round pins common in Europe, each type of outlet has its own unique story to tell. Behind these variations lies the intriguing history of electrical standards. The development of these standards over the years has led to the wide array of outlets we see today. This journey, filled with technological advancements and safety considerations, has brought us a world where an adapter is often a traveler's best friend. It's a tale of innovation, necessity, and a touch of regional pride. So the next time you plug in your phone, remember, there's more to that outlet than meets the eye. Indeed, the world of electrical outlets is more diverse and intricate than you might think. To understand why we have different outlets, we need to journey back in time to the dawn of electricity. The story begins in the late 19th century with two key players, Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla. Edison, the inventor of the incandescent light bulb, was a strong proponent of direct current, or DC. In a DC system, electricity flows in one direction, from the power source to the device. On the other hand, Tesla, an engineer and inventor, advocated for alternating current, or AC, in which electricity changes direction periodically. This was the stage for what has been dubbed the War of the Currents. While DC was initially more popular due to Edison's influence, it had a significant drawback. It was difficult to convert to different voltages, making long-distance transmission inefficient and costly. Enter Tesla's AC system. With AC, it was easier to change the voltage using transformers, making it more efficient for long-distance transmission. Over time, AC became the dominant system, and it's what most of our homes use today. But here's where things get interesting. As electricity began to spread worldwide, there was no international standard for electrical systems. Each country, sometimes even each city, developed its own electrical infrastructure independently. Variables like voltage, frequency, and even the shape of the plug could differ based on a host of factors, from the available resources to the specific needs of the region. In Europe, for instance, a higher voltage system was adopted, as it was more efficient for their densely populated cities. The United States, on the other hand, opted for a lower voltage system, as it was deemed safer and more suitable for their spread out suburban lifestyle. This lack of a unified approach led to the development of many different standards. Some countries even have multiple types of outlets and voltages within their borders. So as countries race to electrify, different standards took hold leading to the diverse range of outlets we see today. Fast forward to today and we find ourselves in a world with a plethora of plugs and sockets. From the flat, angled prongs of Australia's Type 1 outlets to the sturdy round pins of Germany's Type F Schuko sockets, the diversity is fascinating. Each type represents a solution to the unique electrical requirements of its region. Let's take voltage and frequency variations as an example. In North America, outlets typically deliver 120 volts at a frequency of 60 Hz, while in most of Europe the norm is twice that voltage and a slightly lower frequency. These variations can significantly impact the design of electrical appliances and consequently the plugs and sockets they use. Safety regulations also play a pivotal role. The UK's Type G outlets, for instance, feature built-in safety shutters and a grounding pin, a testament to the country's stringent safety standards. And we can't overlook the legacy of historical decisions. The persistence of different plug and socket types is, in part, a result of the path dependency phenomenon, where early choices continue to influence present-day practices. It's a veritable worldwide jigsaw puzzle of plugs and sockets, each piece shaped by history and circumstance. Looking ahead, you may wonder, will we ever see a universal standard for electrical outlets? The idea certainly has its merits. It would eliminate the need for travel adapters, simplify the manufacturing process for appliances, and potentially increase safety standards worldwide. However, achieving this universal standardization isn't a walk in the park. There are significant hurdles to overcome. Logistical issues would be one of the major challenges. Imagine the monumental task of replacing every single electrical outlet in every single home, 
office and public space around the globe. The cost of such an operation would be astronomical. Resistance to change would also play a significant role. Different countries have developed their own standards over time, and these standards are deeply ingrained in their respective infrastructures and societies. Changing these standards would not only be costly, but also potentially disruptive. It is also important to consider that variety in electrical systems allows for innovation and adaptation to specific regional needs. This diversity can be viewed as a strength rather than a drawback. So, while a universal plug may be a distant dream, understanding why we have different outlets can help us navigate this electrifying world with a bit more insight and appreciation.